Hello, in this video, we're going to prove that the limit of a convergent sequence in a metric space is unique. So in order to do this proof, uh, we need a couple things. But first, let me just recall what it means for a sequence to be convergent in a metric space. So a sequence, I'm gonna write it like this, x sub n, as n runs from one to infinity, in a metric space, that's two words, I don't know why I wrote them so close together, capital X converges to X in X if when you take the limit as N goes to infinity of D of x sub n times x, you get zero. In other words, the distance between uh, the terms of the sequence in x uh, approach zero as n approaches infinity. In other words, um, the points of the sequence approach x. In this case, x is the limit, so it's called the limit of the sequence x sub n and we write x sub n approaches x or the limit as n approaches infinity of x sub n is equal to x. You could also rephrase all of this in terms of epsilon, right? So um, that's always easy to do whenever you have something approaching infinity. So let's go ahead and prove this statement here. So proof. So we have to show that the limit of a convergent sequence in a metric space is unique. So we'll suppose that we have two limits for a sequence and we'll show that they're actually the same. So suppose that x and y are both limits of a sequence x sub n in capital X. So they're both limits of a sequence and we have to show that they're the same. So then for all n greater than or equal to one, we have that the distance between x and y, well basically we have to show that this distance is zero. Well this is less than or equal to, by the triangle equality, the distance between x and x sub n, plus the distance between x sub n and y. And this is by the triangle inequality, triangle inequality. So then, if we take the limit, so if you let n go to infinity, this here approaches zero because this one converges to x and it also converges to y. So then we end up with d of x comma y is less than or equal to zero plus zero, which is equal to zero. So that means that we have the distance between x and y less than or equal to zero. Well, it can't be less than zero, so it must be equal to zero. Hence, the distance between x and y is equal to zero. But one of the properties of a metric space uh, says that uh, the metric satisfies the following condition. This is going to be true if and only if x is equal to y. So then x is equal to y. And that completes the proof because we took two limits for a sequence and we showed that they must be the same. Therefore, the limit of a convergent sequence in a metric space must be unique. I hope this video has been helpful to someone who is studying this beautiful subject. Good luck.